Evaluate the integral from 0 to e, f of x, with respect to x. We are given that, function f, from non-negative numbers, to non-negative numbers, is differentiable. For all x greater than or equal to 0, f of x, times e to the power of f of x, equals x. We don't know what f of x is. Just knowing it satisfies an equation. How to evaluate the integral? It seems not easy. Although we don't know the specific functional form of f of x, the given equation implies that, f of x is a part of Lambert W function, which is related to x times e to the power of x. So we let g of x, equals x times e to the power of x, where, x is a non-negative number. Then g of 0, equals 0. The derivative of g of x, g dash of x, is equal to, e to the power of x, plus x times e to the power of x. Which is equal to, x plus 1, times e to the power of x. Which is greater than 0, as x is greater than or equal to 0. So g of x is strictly increasing. Therefore, g of x is a one-to-one -one mapping. And the inverse function of g exists. Because f of x, times e to the power of f of x, equals x. So g of, f of x, equals x. This implies that, f of x, is equal to, the inverse function of g of x. Then the integral from 0 to e, f of x, with respect to x, equals integral from 0 to e, the inverse function of g of x, with respect to x. We will use the substitution method to evaluate the integral. Let x equal g of t. Then dx equals g dash of t, dt. When x varies from 0 to e, t varies from 0 to 1. So the integral equals, integral from 0 to 1, the inverse function of g of, g of t, times g dash of t, with respect to t. The inverse function of g of, g of t, is just equal to t. g dash of t, is equal to, t plus 1, times e to the power of t. So the integral equals, integral from 0 to 1, t times t plus 1, times e to the power of t, dt. We will evaluate the integral, using the integration by parts method. We know that, the integral from a to b, u of t times v dash of t, dt, equals u of t times v of t, from a to b, minus integral from a to b, u dash of t times v of t, dt. Let u of t equal t times t plus 1, and v of t equal e to the power of t. Then u dash of t, is equal to, 2t plus 1. And v dash of t, is equal to, e to the power of t. By applying the integration by parts method, the integral equals, t times t plus 1, times e to the power of t, from 0 to 1, minus integral from 0 to 1, 2t plus 1, times e to the power of t, dt. t times t plus 1, times e to the power of t, from 0 to 1, is equal to, 2e. Again, we will use the integration by parts method, to evaluate the integral from 0 to 1, 2t plus 1, times e to the power of t, dt. Let u of t equal 2t plus 1, and v of t equal e to the power of t. Then u dash of t, is equal to, 2. And v dash of t, is equal to, e to the power of t. Then negative the integral is equal to, negative 2t plus 1, times e to the power of t, from 0 to 1 plus 2 times integral from 0 to 1, e to the power of t, dt. 2t plus 1, times e to the power of t, from 0 to 1, is equal to, 3e minus 1. 2 times integral from 0 to 1, e to the power of t, dt, is equal to, 2 times e to the power of t, from 0 to 1. 2e minus 3e, minus 1, is equal to, 1 minus e. 2 times e to the power of t, from 0 to 1, is equal to, 2e minus 2. So the integral equals e minus 1.